我哋相信咧，成功嘅教學好似奧林匹克傳遞火種一樣，老師以自己對運動同埋知識嘅熱誠，去燃點學生對運動嘅興趣。傳統嘅一個嘅 model 咧，就係一個由老師主導嘅一個嘅上堂啦，技能嘅教學有練習，跟住去到最後第十三個禮拜考試。咁學生嘅角色呢，就係學生嚟嘅啫。咁我哋而家呢個 g o o education model 就係令到個學生有責任感，佢可能呢，就擔當好多唔同嘅角色啦。咁譬如學生自己做教練啊，自己做訓練員啊，自己做一個 cheer leader 啊咁樣，咁佢嘅投入度同埋個動機都高咗。咁目的到最後呢，都係想吸引到佢，令到佢呢係一生呢係可以呢進行某一啲嘅運動嘅習慣。我哋嘅體育課程咧，唔係淨係上課嗰啲時間嘅。咁例如咧，我哋會有一啲運動學會啦。咁亦有咧聽 K Run 喎。咁最近咧，我哋咧仲做咗一個咧係 C U Trails 嘅 App 喎。咁我哋仲特定咧喺校內咧制定咗三條嘅路線，鼓勵佢哋都喺校園咁美好嘅環境裏面咧行下，甚至乎急步啊，鍛鍊體魄。大學體育咧係同學接受有系統嘅體育訓練咧，最後一個機會嚟。我哋咧係好想好好把握呢個機會，令到咧同學咧能夠學識點樣去做運動，增強佢嘅信心。咁等佢將來咧出嚟社會咧都能夠咧恆常做運動。Mathematics is a language. It can be taught as such, and the framework of having an effective flipped classroom. Can get you to the point where everyone can have a basic, solid literacy in the language of our times, the language of the future. Traditionally, mathematics isn't necessarily the most exciting thing. There's not a robot he can play with. There's not a program that he can whatever. Right? It's very abstract. Normally, a professor walks in, talks for two, three hours, students fall asleep, and then they go home and they try to do homework, which they don't really understand. Right? Now it gets flipped. You watch the videos at home. They come to class, and still three hours of the homework is done in class now. Firstly, like we have a platform where to deliver content. So these are the videos you should watch. Here are automated exercises you should try to solve. They're allowed to、uh, to talk to each other, look at each other's solutions, look at other materials, and try to synthesize, improve. Much more useful, much more engaging is a class forum where. During class, but also outside class, students can post their questions, post their answers. They're given incentives to do so, like they're given bonus points for helping each other. When they're doing these in-class exercises, we want them to talk to each other and learn from each other. We set up a giant spreadsheet. Each student is supposed to fill in. I understand this topic very well. This not so well. When they come to class, we give them coupons, and then they can use a spreadsheet, find someone to help them, go look around. Oh, here! If you can teach me this concept, I'll give you a coupon, which is worth some bonus points. So for me, like instead of focusing on just creating the end version of the same materials, I can focus on the human needs of every individual student. Especially teaching in mechanical engineering, robotics, to me, it's very important that the students are hands-on, where they get to see the real world, they get to see the robots,、um, and bring that to as much exposure as possible. When teaching robotics, I mean, one of the biggest challenge in the course I teach is that it's very fundamental. It's mathematics. It's、uh, you know, traditionally it's lecture slides that are not very interesting. I've been teaching using what I call a hands-on robot lectures approach, where we developed a set of robot arms and we bring them into the classroom. And then within the lectures, the students are not just listening to me, but also doing hands-on exercises. I've set projects where it's open-ended and they have to. Use a robot arm to do some application that they think of. So last year we had some, you know, students that made the robot arm、uh, feed themselves while they're typing on the keyboard, or pretending it's moving a car to put in a car park. Fun aside, we could get a better sense of if they understand what they are learning, and the students also feel like then they get that feedback if they understand much better. For after class, having students doing real projects. Um, whether it is final year projects、um, that we must do, or even some social volunteer work, where we help patients from the Prince of Wales Hospital that we collaborate with、um, to do prosthetic devices, I hope that they will be professional. That they're able to become、um, professional engineers that have a good grasp of the knowledge, both fundamental and practical, but also have a sense of、uh, being able to contribute to the society and to the community in a larger scale.